How's it going guys? Demont here with another unboxing. Today we are doing the Black Moon Astrology cards again, but the mini version. And as you can see, it's a, <laughs> a huge difference. Uh, like damn. Like, you know, and I, I'm kind of, I'm not upset, but a little bit that I bought these first without even thinking that to find the, the smaller versions. But yeah, I mean, it's no difference from before. Oh wait, no, actually I've never, see what had happened was I was in the process of doing an unboxing and then I was also on a phone with somebody trying to do the unboxing, but then that was during a time with my, like, my my storage was all acting up and I had to like delete stuff and that was one of the videos that I deleted. So here we are with the unboxing of the smaller cards now. So maybe I'm not upset that I bought the smaller ones because now I can do the unboxing. Um, of course, Amazon, it's just like eh, everything I get. Amazon or Etsy. Things just be, probably might be like limited, like just like like I you see I bought this deck first uh, to find out that there's a smaller deck. Same situ same situation with uh, another uh, another um, another deck. And, I, and honestly, I haven't even opened up that one because I'm waiting for the smaller ones to come in because I want to use those with something else because. The, the one that I bought now, I'm just going to use that as a gift to somebody in particular. Maybe uh, if you if you catch that, um, if you catch my uh, botanical inspiration unboxing, there was a uh, two cards, two cards that were, uh, there was an extra card that I end up having in there. So then that's making me consider on buying two, two flowers two of that particular flower and then I got two of these decks I got another deck that's coming in I got two moonstones I like I don't know it seems like I'm, pre I'm preparing for somebody uh, at the bottom of the deck is the sun sign the sun sign the the sun card oh there's no booklet to it okay because it's probably I mean it don't matter because I have this right here so but as you can see number one is the sun so but this is basically just a flip through or an unboxing. But we can also do a comparison as well. So I'm not going to do like a full on comparison, but you can, I'm going to pull out the deck eventually once I'm done the flip through. Maybe this is what I should have did first, but we already are at number four in. So, I don't know, for some reason, actually, I don't even need to do that because I think I actually have a card out here. Here we go, here we go. And so here's the original size and then here is the smaller size. I don't know if you Leo, Mars is a significance. But yeah, I end up pulling that card out and then the um, Aries is out over there too. I'm gonna to be doing a reading from this cards. Maybe the card that I pull out here is uh, also, is, auto, is gonna be thrown over there too. So that might have some messages as well. Some added messages, abundance. Chiron, healing. Hopefully that music isn't loud. Uh, Uranus, genius. Neptune is sacrifice. Transformation, Pluto. I'm breezing through these because like I've already been used the Black Moon Astrology cards already, the bigger versions, so. If y'all want to already see them in use, be sure. Honestly, you can go check out my my Black Moon uh, reading that I just I, I just did. That talked about 
a divine partner, twin flame, divine soulmate union, entrapment. Mm. So yeah, you probably probably might want to go check that out. Here we go, Leo again, oh, and followed by Virgo. Well, it, it's going into the order of the zodiac, so then Libra, and then you know Scorpio is going to follow up right behind it. Uh huh. Transformation, Sagittarius. I see. Now, peep that is called the um. The black the black moon astrology but yet if you look at the, the actual box it has Sagittarius up there but there's a black moon card in here that is a significance of Lilith but instead of putting Lilith up there they put Sagittarius and Sagittarius is supposed to be Ra who is God right and I want to say Lucifer was a Capricorn, but I feel like, was he Aries? I don't know. Uh, the reason why I say Capricorn because of December, but I honestly think he's a Virgo. Well, at least Jesus was Virgo. So when he was, so when Lucy was reincarnated as Jesus, right, he was a, a Virgo. At least he embodied Virgo energy because of the, the just the earthly things that he, or the things that he done for the world. Oh, wow, how I picked up the roots, right? <coughs> Creativity. Routine. I feel like that music is loud. I'm not trying to get flagged. Yeah, but I wanted to get the smaller deck only because of uh, maybe it was like, I don't know. I will say that the, the texture of the cards are a lot different though. I like the, the, I like how these feel compared to these. So maybe that's a, a perk then I guess for having the larger cards. No, but I, I wanted to get the I wanted the smaller ones because of uh, for travel for travel reasons, and if I wanted to have like the zodiac signs, I wanted to have them in a smaller in a smaller card as well. So therefore, I'm not splitting. I'm not splitting this deck like I've done in a reading already. If you sent it saw it in a reading before, I had to split the deck. To, to shuffle to get the zodiac sign and then try to shuffle to get something else uh, to get the elements and then shuffle another deck to try to get like maybe the houses or something like that like it's a lot going on because I really want to be specific with uh you know trying to channel in like an actual zodiac and stuff like that also in that black moon spread video uh, life purpose was the uh, was like the center that came up in the center of that spread so I also find that important to check out you know it I may I may talk about like my north node a lot in that video because the cards that I pulled were for me but I like to still post videos for the general collective to relate to but um you know, even if you don't resonate with your North Node being in the fire sign or Sagittarius, because that's what I talk about, my North Node being in Sagittarius, it's still imperative that you discover what your life purpose is. Because I pulled out the healing card, the heal yourself card as well. And at the bottom of that deck was to discover your life purpose. So I think that the life purpose, it's, it's important. So it's like, do your research on your life purpose as well. Maybe we should do a North Node reading, right? Oh, wow. As I hold on to the Destiny card, right? 
North Node had North Node readings. I got so many cards to like. It's more so about the past, though. But again, you can always reference your past to to connect with to to have it relate to your future or your present to change your future. You know, it's funny how we talk about um, religion and stuff or how people talk about religion and how people go to the Bible and how people, how people, how people, how people say that the Bible, it, it, it relates to, you know, current times. So you can always go to the Bible and, it, and you can find in any given point that it's going to relate to something going on in your life, right? Where was I going with that? I talk too much, you know, I go on a rant and I don't be thinking things through. I just be talking. But huh. Oh well, that's what's important. I know I was talking about um oh the life purpose, the Bible. Where was I going with this? Shit. I'm I'm like I'm there, but I'm not there. Darn it. Books of the Bible. Cause I'm looking at the books of the Bible right now. Life purpose. Um, oh, it don't matter. Water element. And third houses messages. Alrighty. Oh, well. since we don't have the book, right? It's funny because uh, the water sign, the water element came out and it's sensing. And then as I open up the black moon, the bigger one, cancer is at the bottom of the deck and it's I feel, right? I don't have, I'm not a cancer. I don't have, well, Mars. I have cancer in Mars. Did Mars pop out? No, but that was one of the cards that did show up um, when I pulled um, at 40. So we're going to read 40. It's about sensing. Water element, sensing. Your intelligence may be confused, but your emotions will never lie to you. Let matters flow. In astrology, the element of water represents our emotions and our talents of the imagination. We characterize, we characterize the realm of vision, taking us into the quintessential depths of feeling where intuition is more appropriate than acquired wisdom and knowledge. We get carried away on water. We have feelings of floating or being adrift over water. When looking at the shimmering surface of water, we cannot see ooh, excuse me, the bottom, but we know and sense what is there. Deep things to obscure. Uh, deep things too ob obtuse and transitory to explain, fathom, Fathom of moods and insight. Water is the element of the signs Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The planet of water are the moon, Pluto, and Neptune. When the water element card presents itself in a spread, you can trust what you feel as the best course to follow. What you are sensing right now may not be based on any logic. It's just that you are sensing your, your sensing is correct. Right now, it's best to go with the flow and de depend upon the cards surrounding it to trust the movement. Although there, these changes may seem gentle and gradual, sometimes the water element card indicates a need to withdraw and fight another day. It is time to gather resources and gain strength before moving ahead. This can at times indicate trusting too soon or the passive acceptance of others, other people's shortcomings when you shouldn't accept them. 
you may have the tendency to want to allow things to pass you by without fighting for them, to let go of something that is rightfully yours. Water is the element of compassion and understanding, but avoid being a doormat. It is possible people or forces may take advantage of your benign and accepting nature. This is good. This is a good time to imagine, write, paint, play, or create anything since water is the element of imagination. It is the ability to quiet your conscious mind and allow yourself to be taken over by any idea or dream. Water is painting, poetry, and music. This card represents being connected to the flow of all things. It is also the ability to keep a secret or to work alone in privacy, which I kind of am doing right now. Uh, it is probably best to not allow people or circumstances to not pin you down or helm you in. Frankly, you, ha you now have the ability to flow or drift out of any situation in the way water is able to move around obstacles very gently and easily. Currently, you may also have the feelings of floating or being adrift. In a sense, it is a type of surrender. Maybe it is the surrender to a dream. Uh, at present, you may have little energy and want to withdraw. You are, in fact, doing a lot of inner processing, which will take you where you want to go. There are deep levels working and developing inside you, but the work is not seen on the outside. Expect a pause, but forward motion soon. Look inward. Don't worry about the drama that surrounds you. Avoid the commotion. Sit still, float, and trust your inner wisdom. It, it, it will not steer you wrong. Water element, card, and brief. Being led by feelings, what is felt and what is known to be true, directly through emotions, intuitions, letting go or just going with the flow. Extreme sensitivity, feeling shy or out of... Sorry. Place. Um, being quiet and introverted, subtle changes in circumstances and environments, the creative imagination, psychic dreaming, currents of emotion, confusion, fears of confronting a problem directly, uh, feeling avoidant, mysteries and secrets, uh, confronting, oh wait, acting in solidarity or secretive, or secretive ways, having doubts, experiencing loneliness, experiencing loneliness, walking your own path without help. Mm. Mm -hmm. Tendency, uh, timid, timid, timidity, feeling of feelings of guilt or shame, leaving things to chance, not pushing hard enough, giving up before time, travel near or over bodies of water, oceans, lakes, or rivers, Beach vacations, sea life, seashells, overcast days, cancellations due to rain, flooding, water leaks in the home, essential oils, perfumes, candles, gentleness, feminine power, the nourishment and nurturing of others. Corresponding tarot card is Ace of Cups, key idea, emotional nuance, trips across water, lack of energy, sensing what is accurate without being told. Exactly. And then it's the third house and then messages. Should we go into that? That was 27. I'm not going to do the whole thing. You must stay drunk on writing so reality cannot destroy you. Hmm. The third house card in brief, finding the right words, discussion, being of two minds, vacillation, yeah, vacillation, hesitation about stepping into situations, coming to clearer choices, objectivity, short trips, air travel or taking flight, mastering something new, neighborhood events or changes, connecting to the greater mind, Owning what you know to be true, 
being chatty or talkative, closing down emotionally and relying on common sense. Hmm. Turning cold on someone or someone turning cold on you. Mm -hmm. Eye to eye coordination, games and figuring out puzzles, intelligence, inventions, numbers and letters, needing to do math, early, sc early schooling, scripts, codes, siblings, bargains, signing of contracts, sales and commercial contracts. Corresponding tarot card is three of pentacles. Uh, key ideas, short journeys, the neighborhood, siblings, signing documents, communications, rumors. Well, that was that. Um, let me know how you guys prefer the larger ones or the smaller ones. Where, where is it at? I don't know. Do you prefer the larger one or a smaller one? But, um... <clears throat> If you do have these cards, you know, how are they working for you? You know, let me know in the comments below. Which uh, version did you get? Again, I, I like the smaller version, but I love the feeling of these cards. It's this back. I'm telling you, it's a huge difference. And you're going to love the larger ones just based off how they feel. But, you know, don't always go by what you feel. <laughs> <clears throat> oh wow I will have I have I will um, this was at the bottom and then that was over there um, thank you guys for watching y'all take care make sure y'all like sub like blah, 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 blah. like share subscribe and comment um, y'all be safe and have a blissful and wonderful and magnificent day take care now bye bye